All right, so five properties that make up water, such as, um, a, you explain the five properties that make up water. And water is water a unique, unique mo um, molecule. So in our notebook, you would have gotten this information on probably page 13. Yes. 13. So I'm trying to show you where you would find it in here. So explain the five properties that make up water. And so they're listed on the second half of the first page on um, 13. So one property is cohesion. So if you can turn to page 13, because I don't have the blanks filled in, um, and it says to explain them. So this is the attraction between water molecules. So attraction between, that's my abbreviation for between, water molecules. That's the same molecules. All of a sudden, I cannot spell. Um, and surface tension is an example. And I don't know if I left enough space um, on here or not. Um, adhesion. It's a attraction between two different molecules. So it'd be the attraction between water and another molecule. Water and a different molecule. And this is... Um, Oh, what was the example? Um, capillary action. That's what I was looking for. Capillary action. So check your paper if you have it. Um, if you don't, write it down. Um, high specific heat. Uh, this is... The tendency of water to not um, increase or decrease quickly. So, So it takes a long time for water to heat up and for water to cool down. Now I'm going to jump down here and do the others because um, there's five of them. I didn't put enough room there. Um, density, so low density. Um, is... Uh, so solid water has less density than liquid. And the reason is allows for life to live under frozen surfaces. And then the fifth one is um, a terrific solvent. I'm going to say universal solvent. Um, water dissolves, let's see, many different substances, right? You know what it says? Yeah, water can dis dissolve many different substances 
and this is because it is polar. All right, so those are the five properties. And then on the very back of your notes on page 13, and I'll use a different color here so that it doesn't blend in with number six. The difference between hydrophilic and hydrophobic, and we just talked about that um, with the phospholipid. Um, hydrophilic needs what? Hydrophilic. Does not have a infinite need for water. A, well, has hydrophilic has an oh. affinity for water. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm what's the next thing? Water. Loving. Loving. And then and the next thing in dissolves in water. So, hydrophilic means water loving, which means it will dissolve in water. Hydrophilic, I mean hydrophobic, is then the opposite. It is water hating and will not dissolve in water. And I'm going to add a word by each of these. So for hydrophilic, I'm going to put polar. And hydrophobic, I'm going to put non-polar. 